Do you have your marketing plan ready? This right here is Digital First, an AI platform who takes your input and builds the most converting marketing platform for your need. So let's dive in and set up a marketing plan. So here we are inside Digital First on what they have now as the dashboard. There are no statistics and nothing right now except for that we can see some tactics that we have done in the funnel, some activities, and then we have one recommendation we can go and check out. But before we just dive into that, then let's go all the way back to the beginning and then set up a new funnel. So down here I will create a new funnel, let's call it YouTube video and the project will just be YouTube for this. And then let's press save. So now we have a new funnel and let's start now on this specific funnel. So when it is you start out on your funnel, you need to enter some information that Digital First use in order to make a marketing plan for you. So it basically takes your input in order to make the most personalized marketing plan for you. So let's say that I am a service and my product name is that I build websites for instance. I help B2B clients and my target groups are companies. Its most important advantages are the availability, credibility and the quality. But people might be afraid of bad experiences from the past, a contact problem and let's get something with budgets too high of a price. I would like marketing tactics to help me with Let's see the problems, automation, churn, competitors, let's say competitors. And let's add engagement as well. So now we filled out the first step. Let's go to the next step where here we need to fill out the channels that we are already using. So I'm using a mailbox, I have a website, let's say I'm also on Facebook. I have some case studies, I have a price list and let's keep it at that. So let's go to the next step again. So here you can see we need to fill out on the third step some information about how the purchase is handled. Let's say it's a salesman. The payment frequency is, let's use the last version here, and how our margins are. Let's just keep this one at low margins. So let's press save and finish. So now our statement is completed and we now have some recommendations. And this is recommendations for you to use in your marketing plan. So you can see that we have something called VPV effect. Something I'm missing here is to see some more information on the specific tactic here because I don't know what VPV stands for right now. So now I have to Google it in order to understand it. But for now, let's just add it. I also like a sales demo steady flow. We can add a don't leave pop up as well. Chatbot to live chat. Let's see what this targeting is as well use testimonials in paid ads and ask tactic because you can see that all of the tactics have some stars if they have been used previously and that is other users who has used these and told the system that this worked well so let's add these selected tactics so you can see we have now added the tactics and they are all the way down here for each of these tactics there are activities so here you can see that under vpv effect i need to create a story prepare materials, create a carousel on Facebook, set up the campaign and then expand from there. Now you can also see that this is basically like a funnel. So an icebreaker is the first time that people see your product. The cheeseburger step is basically where they come to try your product. The main product is how they grow within your product and the last stage is how you upsell more products to the client. So you can basically drag and drop these different tactics to put them where you think that they are belonging to. So let's keep it at this that I want to use testimonials and paid ads as my icebreaker. In my cheeseburger I want to use the ask tactic and the chatbot. And in the main product I want to use the SKAG targeting. And remember under each of these we have these different steps we need to go through. So every time you have done a step, you go in and then you check mark it to show that you have done it. Because then you have everything collected within digital first, so you know how far you are. For each funnel, we also have the overview, which you saw before. We have our statement, which we had just built. And then we have recommended tactics, which you've also seen. 
And then last but not least, we have canvases. So canvases is a more deep way of figuring out what your marketing plan is. So here you can see we need to fill out something about revenue streams, our value proposition. I will just choose some different values here. What values does your brand represent? Let's say saving and prestige. What do you want to change with your product? How do you stand out from the competition? So this is basically your unique selling proposition. Let's say it's faster, it works better. Again, B2B, I've already entered that. So here is basically your segment or your target group. Then we have the problems that we are solving, let's say for business and we are finding new customers. We can set our key partners and so much more. There are a lot of steps that you need to go through in the canvases. You can see out here, they have a business model canvas, a product and offer canvas, content machine canvas, and a goal canvas. And all of this is just canvases for you to have. So if someone ever asks any question about your product, you will always have it in here as a basically an archive or a library of different information you have entered. And you can of course always change the different inputs that you have done by going back in the different menu here. So based on all of this, we still have our funnel with the different tactics. Now, if there are tactics here where you think I would like to have something more specific to this branch over here, but it's not part of the recommended tactics, then in the funnel, we have a plus up here. Within this plus, you can see all of the tactics within digital first, and there are a lot. You can see there are something about Black Friday ads campaign, business core, automated upsell, automated upsell again. We have something down here, don't leave pop-up, which you've seen, last pieces PLA tactic. And for every one of these tactics, you can see that it has a level. For instance, the AIDA framework. When we click on tactics within here, we get great information. You can see that we have some information about attention, interest, desire, and action. And down here, we have an overview of AIDA as a framework, what it means and what you can use it for. And up here, you can see that it fits in all the different stages that you can use it. And if we want to use this one, we just click add to funnel. And I'll say, let's add it in the cheeseburger state. Closing down, then you can see again, we have a lot of different tactics that we can dive into and use. And this is so great in order to find new channels or new tactics to try. Because if you have been running a marketing for some time, then you know that at some point you just run out of ideas and you need to seek new inspiration. This library of tactics is such a great way to find what it is you're looking for. Up here, you can also search for specific keywords. Let's say you want to run a campaign for Black Friday. Then we can search for Black Friday up here. And then we should get some tactics based on that. Then we do also have your own tactics that you can add if you want to build your own tactics. And then there is digital first AI tactics. And all of these are free to use. The last thing I want to show you within digital first is growth hackers. So if you don't want to build your own marketing plan and execute it, then you can hire someone to do it within digital first. All of this is different profiles and you can also sign up to be a growth hacker within digital first. And all of these different growth hackers, you can basically just go in and then you can message them in order to start a dialogue to see if they can lift your case and execute your marketing plan. And you don't even need to have a marketing plan. You can just write them and then they can build it for you. It's just a nice add on for those who don't want to run with that task themselves, but just want to hire someone to do it. And that is what we have right now within Digital First. It is a simplified platform, but the technology behind is really thorough worked through. And you can really see that the recommendations are interesting. Sometimes they are not precise, but they're definitely there where you can use them as inspiration. And the library is just such a great add-on. Now let's talk pricing. You can start using Digital First completely free. And it's not a free trial, it is a free plan where you do get an amount of features that makes it possible for you to try it out to see whether Digital First can deliver what it is you're looking for. And then when you reach the step where you want to step up your marketing game a bit, then you can upgrade to one of the paid plans. And even though they have paid plans, 
the paid plans are a lot cheaper compared to the alternatives. These paid plans compared to each other, the pro plan is where you get most value for money. And you can see all of the plans differs on the amount of features that you get. Now the alternative to digital first is Funnelytics. Funnelytics is a little bit different compared to digital first because Funnelytics doesn't utilize AI in the same sense. Funnelytics are really good at drawing the customer journey from the visitor enters the website until they're a journey and even until that they churn as a customer. So those two compare to each other, they are similar, but still they're taking different approaches because with Funnelytics, it's very data driven. You can see that you build a funnel and then where is it that we have a gap between the amount of visitors we get and the amount of customers that we actually convert. So these two compared to each other could complement each other, but digital first really separates themselves as utilizing AI, taking your input in order to create a marketing plan that you can basically just go ahead and execute on. As you've seen in the walkthrough, Digital First offers a lot of help in the platform, which allows us to really utilize everything within the platform, but they're taking it a step further. They're building video tutorials. This will make it possible for us to really take full effort of everything within Digital First. Then they're working on a dashboard with statistics. So we can see basically statistics for our marketing plans, but what would be really interesting in this sense would be that we could see the execution of our marketing plan. So let's say that you have built a plan, you've started to execute on it, but you would like to see based on what Digital First has recommended, are you on the right track or do you need to change anything? Furthermore, then they're working on better AI recommendations because that is what Digital First is all about. It is utilizing the AI to give us recommendations based on our input. And right now, as you've seen, they have a lot of different recommendations, but they are taking this to the next version. So we will get more precise recommendations and even more different types of recommendations. This is a really interesting feature in order to try new channels that you haven't thought about before. As the last interesting thing that I have noticed, even though they're working on a lot of different modules, is landing pages and integrations because they're working on integrations to Google Analytics and Buffer, just to take some examples. Combining this with being able to build landing pages within Digital First, this means that you are basically able to build a marketing plan, execute it within Digital First, build a landing page, and then just come full circle on the entire idea of building an idea, executing on the idea, and seeing the result of it. So it'll be so interesting to see how they will execute on this. Now, after using Digital First for some time, I really like that it's built on AI because that makes it scalable for us to get more recommendations. Then I like the guides and the flows that it's easy to understand and the fact that we get a lot of recommendations. Though I wish that they would improve the content of the recommendations so it would be easier to execute on and then that we will get even more recommendations because it's not always that they're fulfilling. The idea of Digital First is brilliant. I really like the idea of letting the data tell you what is the best marketing strategy for your need. That being said, I really hope that they will improve all of the recommendations because it's not always on point, but let's see what happens in version two. Therefore, I want to give Digital First three and a half stars. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.